Um, on Wednesday, we had our um, first annual meeting um, as the board uh, with all licensed, all licensed holders and potential licensed holders. Um, basically, what we had was a sensitization um, meeting with um, all the applicants, potential um, holders. Uh, basically, what we did was introduce the board because it's a new board, um, the composition of the board, um, responsibilities of the board. All right. Um, we also touch on the different types of license. There are 12 licenses, 12 licenses type. Um, basically, we discuss what the um, limitations are with each specific license, the composition of these licenses, and the associated fee with those. Um, we also discuss the application process um, because that seems to be an issue with some of the applicants. You know that we discuss the um, application process, um, and I must make it clear is that. Um, not just because you apply, it's an automatic process whereby it is approved. Um, therefore, we also um, discuss the grounds for um, refusal by the board. Um, we also discuss opposition to an application by the public as it relates to these applicants, these applications. Um, we also discuss extensions and um, extensions on these licenses, um, the different types of license holders that qualify for extensions. Um, we also discuss special um, licenses, the issuance of special licenses. Um, the ministry uh, responsible for liquor license, which is the intoxicating um, body, uh, they have a set of policies and protocols that they want the board to implement. All right, because it's not as detailed in the act. Um, therefore, they have they give us a, a detailed set of policies and protocols that they want us to um, to utilize. No, um, there also had, there were also some amendments to the act, especially with the hours of closing. Um, those amendments were made in December of 2022, that was last year. So we discussed that as well with, the, um, with all the, the license holders and the, the, well, the applicants then. Um, we discussed the act, not in its entirety, but um, we discussed um, basically the roles, the enforcement body, the enforcing bodies, which specifically guides, uh, which the act specifically guides these bodies, these supporting agencies, which are namely the police department, the fire um, department and public health. All right. So um, we also discuss appeals. Um, for example, if an applicant feels that he or she has been aggrieved, hasn't been treated fairly, uh, they have the appeal to they have the right to appeal, and um, that appeal process goes directly to the minister, which um, he at, at the, then uh, sent his investigating body to see if due process was um, done to the to the um, applicant, and there from there his final his decision is final. All right, we also discussed the penalties um, associated with infractions with the um, limitations by the, the, the types of license that an applicant holds. Um, again, um, after that, uh, we had the different supporting agencies. Um, the police department gave a presentation, their expectations from license holders. Um, we also had from the fire department and public health. Um, so basically, thereafter, there was a, um, there was a, a question um, segment of the uh, meeting. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, based on the numbers of applicants, um, we have about a little over, from my count yesterday, from the information received from the clerk, there was a little over 80 applicants. Um, so uh, what is being done now is that um, they're going through the process of doing their um, visitation um, and uh, looking at the establishment, uh, see if, it, uh, if, if they meet the requirements. And from there, the board should meet. Um, we are within a very uh, tight deadline because we want to get this all done by the 31st. Um, we do have some setbacks because what um, was what was put to us was that, um, or the recommendations put to us by the ministry was that they wanted to do a general um, training workshop to all board members, to all supporting agencies. We had that last week Friday. Um, we had that in Independence because they captured in Southern Node. Um, during that during that segment also it was the Stan Creek and Toledo district.